Mind Monsters. Okay, we're going to Dead Space. This is part 39. And there's a lot of blood on the wall with writing, which I'm not sure if it was here last time. And, um, so far we have to. Apparently, the oxygen levels are running low, and, um, even though we're clear to leave, technically, kind of, I guess you could say, because we set up the astronaut. Ast astronauts? Asteroids! We set up the asteroid, uh, defense system, but apparently the giant mutant thing stuck in the wall apparently wants to take away our oxygen and cause a lot of bad things. And what's this? Audio log. Personal log. Personal log. Dr. Charles I now have a live subject for my study. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration theory. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Kai. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and marked. What are you doing with that? And I'm not attempting to create a passage to insert <laughs> the sample system into... No! Disgusting. I thought, I thought the person screaming was actually a person around here or something. Okay, that way. But as always, we go the wrong way. Oh, we can't. The door's locked. Alright. Scary bitches away from me. Okay, this isn't obvious. I got. Oh god, that guy looks pretty badass. Alright, break out the glasses and. There's two of them. Okay. Okay, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna. Hold on. Schematic force energy. I'm gonna open that thing and Mr. Big Guy here is gonna come out. I'm not sure about that guy, he looks like a generic dead body. And we all know generic dead bodies don't ever do anything besides get transformed by the bad guy who tries sticking a straw in your brain. Can I just use my kinesis to open it from here? Look at this, it's like screaming to get me. Yeah, you're gonna try and scare me? Well, I know you're going to. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, never mind. Activate this. The batch mixer? There's that thing I was on the wall. Okay, let me just look around before I get ready for this fight. Should be pretty easy. Processing request. Please stand by. Please stand Antigen by. Antigen compound completed. Please remove the capsule. Just no. Uh, hold on. I'm watching you. What are you doing? What? Your fight for survival is admirable, but pointless. You're pointless, uh, asshole. And yet you keep on going. You yet you keep on going. Yeah. It almost makes me think that we had hope as a species. Shut up. Am I the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago? Yeah, because we're still alive, uh, mate. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future. Your future. The future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child. The children that will replace us. Our Shut the hell up. Why would the next thing for the human race to end us be the next, our own creation? That makes no sense. Isaac. It's just 
I just realized this whole time I've not put all my time up. So I'm just gonna keep going for like minutes. Now you need to find a DNA sample of the growth. According to lab records, there's an inert sample stored in the ICU. A Dr. Mercer was apparently doing intensive research on it. I've been trying to contact Hammond, but all I'm getting is static. Isaac, you've got to hurry. Uh, Hammond's probably playing with the marker and drawing penises on people's faces. Anyway, um, what's the safe station? Oh, damn, I'm gonna have to buy a lot of ammo. So anyway, due to my incompetence of saving, I will be right back with part 40, because I'm not sure how long I've been going for. So, uh...